A number of years ago, I met a man, or I'm on uh, page 76. I met a man, Clarence Smithison. I was working with him. He, in fact, it was at a Prudential seminar, and we were in, um, in Indianapolis. He was in charge of, um, of the, um, uh, the part that made certain that everything run right in the company um, with um, uh, World Book Encyclopedia. And I asked him, this guy was incredible. I asked him, I said, can you describe, he said, everything's by faith. I said, describe faith to me. Here's the way he put it. This is so good. He said, faith is the ability to see the invisible. See the invisible, here. See an image that no one else can see. You're seeing it in your mind. See the invisible. Then he said to believe the incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. There's a power that resides within you it's in your heart. We say this is the heart of hearts. And any image impressed upon that instantly and automatically begins to move into form. Now, that's incredible. That's the perpetual transmutation of energy. He said, any idea that's held in the mind and you impress properly upon this part of your mind, that idea is going to move into form. He said, it's to see the invisible, to believe in the incredible. It's incredible to believe that we're surrounded by a power, we're made out of that power, this physical body is nothing but that power manifest in form, and in our emotional mind, we're filled with it. It's omnipresent. Spirit is omnipresent, 100% evenly present, all places at the same time. And when you turn that over, he said, it's the ability to see the invisible, to believe in the incredible. And that will permit you to receive what the masses call impossible. You move into form. You move into the vibration to act properly, but you not only act properly, you'll attract what you have to attract. And it's the action, attraction, that changes the result. See, faith is, is a deep thing. It's really something that's, that runs very deep. And we've got to understand this, and most people don't understand it. You may already know about Bob Proctor's rags to riches story. This was one guy going nowhere until he made one decision that teleported his life. The change was so enormous, so light speed whipsaw crazy, that he's devoted his entire life to teaching millions of people how to do the same. For 60 years, Bob Proctor has been dreaming up gigantic goals that initially, even to him, looked unattainable in a galaxy far, far away. But he always found a way to navigate to those points of twinkling light, casting the darkness out of his life. How has he always found his way? I don't mean his paradigm shifting in a general sense talk from the front of the room. I mean, how did he find his way? conquering old habits, distancing from his old life, moments of frustration, moments of new direction, goal achieving, exaltation, and what he did next, practice steps, missteps, and jangled senses, questioning, analyzing, changing course, lousy times, failure times, and I can't even go on any more times. Because even a Jedi master can have a bad day. Haven't you wondered how Bob became Bob? Just imagine what his personal lessons can do for the you you're becoming. Introducing the first ever master class with Bob Proctor. Study personally with Bob from his book, You Were Born Rich. Chat with him, ask the burning questions, clear away the confusions, conquer the bad days, think like the master, and go, go, go. Your 
light speed is just one decision away. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.